Welcome to another video. So, XAI has launched Grok 4 and Grok 4 Heavy. First of all, they told us that Grok 4 comes with about 10x the training compute of the older ones. They have also specifically trained it on tool calling, similar to Claude and Gemini, and it is now better at tool calling as well, which is needed for AI coding specifically. Then they did some blabbering and talked about the difference between Grok 4 and Grok 4 Heavy. Grok 4 is a general purpose model, while Grok 4 Heavy is a multi agentic system of multiple Grok 4S that are spawned and then work in conjunction to do the tasks. It is similar to O3 Pro as well, where it can do reasoning for a long time and things like that, which is pretty good. It scores state of the art on the humanity. Last benchmark. But technically, this is not a correct way to test it, because you are essentially comparing a model with web search and tool access, along with a multi agentic system, in order to do the tasks. This is just trickery at this point, to show that you have the SOTA scores, but I don't think that it is true at all, and it is a gimmick at best. You can use Grok 4 Heavy, which is a multi agent system, in their $300 per month plan, which is just bad. So, Grok 4 Heavy is not a single model, but a system of multiple agents, which is just not correct to do, at least just for the sake of showing that you are the best or something like that. Another thing is that it now has vision capabilities as well, if you do want to try that. Though, in the HLE, it scores about 38.6% comma, which is still good, but I don't know if they used web search in it, because Gemini didn't use that. So, that is something that needs to be considered. I think that it uses web searches and tools, because they were showing that in all of their demos. So, there's that. There are also the benchmarks for Live Code Bench and AME, and it scores state of the art there, which is kind of cool as well. Then they also talked about the new voices for Grok. I'm not too interested there, but it can, like, whisper, sing, and stuff like that, which is kind of cool. They also compared it with ChatGPT's voice mode. Then, they also talked about how Grok 4 is now available on the API, and you can just use Grok 4 via the API. It also scores quite well in the Arc AGI as well. Also, the model now has a 256k context window, which is quite amazing for sure, and it has some good stuff through there as well. They also showed how it can make games and stuff as well. Now, as you know, there was also supposed to be a code model, right? Well, that is in the works and will be launched next month, which will be kind of cool to see. They also have multimodal and video generation models as well. Now, let me show you how you can use the new Grok 4 model as an AI coder. You can actually just head on over to the XAI site and grab an API key and use that. It gives you some free credits as well. But if you want even more free credits, then let me show you how you can get that as well. But before we do that, let me tell you about today's sponsor Surfshark. Are you tired of your online activity being tracked or feeling unsafe on public Wi-Fi? Surfshark's VPN is here to help. Surfshark encrypts your internet connection, shielding your personal data, ensuring your browsing stays private, especially on unsecured networks. It also lets you bypass annoying geo restrictions, giving you access to a wider range of content from around the globe. They are even offering extra four months for free deal on their VPN. If you use my coupon code CODEKING or click the link in the description, you can use Surfshark to unblock multiple AI models or features that are not available in some countries due to geo restriction. But with Surfshark, you can say goodbye to not available in your region part and use the features all you want. The best part? One Surfshark account supports unlimited devices, and there's also cross-platform support for Android, iOS, Mac, Windows, Linux, all covered. Plus, they offer over 3,200 different servers in more than 100 locations.
so you always get a fast and stable connection anytime. Use my coupon code CODEKING or click the link in the description to get an exclusive extra four month for free deal on Surfshark. And don't worry, it comes with a 30 day money back guarantee so you can try it risk free. Now, back to the video. You can head on over to VS Code and make sure that you upgrade it to the latest version. Now just go ahead and open RuCode or Klein and choose the XAI or Open Router provider and then select the new Grok 4 model. It is super early, so it can take like 10 or 15 minutes to pop up here. Anyway, once that is set up, you can start using it. I don't think that it is as good as Sonnet or Opus or Gemini encoding yet. It has a long way to go there, though it is actually now usable. But, for the price of the API, it is not good. But, if you do want to try it for free without messing around with their API, then you can try out Kilo Code. You can just get it installed by searching the web, and then sign up, and you'll get about $20 of free credits as well. Then, you can just go to the settings, select the Kilo Code provider, search for Grok 4, and get that set up as well. The providers are still updating the new model, and it should be available everywhere soon. I think that it is good, but nothing extraordinary as of now. I'm excited for the new Grok 4 code model when that comes out, but everyone is playing the catch-up game for now, and nothing is truly game-changing. I am still going to use Sonnet and Gemini after this, but let me know if you guys want a properly detailed video where I compare it against the other models as well. So, there's that. I think that they are going in a good direction, but it still needs work, and the hype they do for these models always ends up backfiring because it is basically similar to Claude or Gemini at best, while not being as good in actual coding. So, that still needs to be worked on. I hope the code model is launched soon, because it seems that their coding training runs are not working that well, which is something that Google and especially Anthropic have nailed. Getting ahead of them is a stretch for OpenAI themselves, and Grok is still behind. So, there's nothing to be hyped up about. It's all the same stuff, nothing new. Yes, Grok might be much more uncensored, so if you do have such use cases, then you can use it, and it will be much better. You can give it a try for yourself, and see what you like or don't like, and comment about what you think about these models. I'll be giving the model a try, and let me know if you want another video on my thoughts. I thought to share what I thought as well, and I like the new updates, but it is nothing extraordinary as of now. There is still some work that needs to be done in order to make a much better model that is actually something good. I am quite excited for Gemini 3, because that will be cool to see nonetheless. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, share your thoughts below and subscribe to the channel. You can also donate via Super Thanks option or join the channel as well and get some perks. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!